I can feel it. I can feel the hate. I can feel the hate and the controversy and just the, the trolls and I can, I can just feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> What's up everybody, Kier Gomes here and welcome back. Today's episode, we are gonna settle an ongoing feud and something that I've been getting asked about many, many times. It's come up in Q and A, it's come up in the comments on my videos, it's come up in my reviews. The question is, do I prefer Fontaine playing cards or anyone worldwide playing cards? These are two of the hypest hype brands out there in the playing card world today. And I just couldn't resist the opportunity to pit the two against each other and see which one is more worth your money. So today we are going to be comparing the Fontaine playing cards to the Anyone Worldwide playing cards. And I wanted to do two like classic flagship decks for the brands. So we're just going to do a regular standard Fontaine deck, which is the Fontaine Watermelons, and the blue Anyone Worldwide logo deck. We're going to be looking at three main categories for these cards. We're going to be looking at the design, we're going to be looking at the handling and paper stock, and of course we're going to be looking at the price and availability of the decks. You would think that that last one gives somebody a competitive advantage, but spoiler alert, it, <laughs> it kind of doesn't. Before we get started, please do drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, and very importantly, this is a non-troll zone, so these are my personal opinions. If you disagree, I do want to hear about it. I look forward to reading your feedback. However, this is not a place to smash anybody, including me, in the comments. So while I know everybody's going to have different opinions, you asked for it. These are mine. And of course, be respectful of everybody else in the comments. Let's have fun with it though. Let's, let's talk about why we prefer what we prefer. All right, enough of all of that. Let's get into the video. Standard Fontaine decks just feature the Fontaine F going vertically mirrored across the deck. This particular one has a super vibrant color with extremely thin borders, which I know most cardists prefer. The deck itself and design is completely standard to a regular bicycle deck. The jokers are fairly minimal, showing only the Fontaine logo in the center. The Ace of Spades is exactly what you would expect from a Fontaine deck. It's just an enlarged spade pip with the Fontaine logo. But overall, the design of this deck is meant to be minimal and meant to suit the creator's needs, which makes it good for cardistry and magic. The Anyone Worldwide logo deck has about a medium sized border, so a little bit thicker than the Fontaine's, but it is also just a logo, only instead of going vertically, it goes horizontally across the deck, making for a nice two way back design and that blue really pops, I like it a lot. This deck also has completely bicycle standard faces with minimalist touches on the Ace of Spades, although not as much as the Fontaine Ace of Spades. As well, you get two 6006 identical jokers, again going horizontally across the deck. All right, so that's one category down, and so far I'd have to say, in terms of overall design, I gotta give it to Fontaine. In general, I'm not just talking about the watermelon deck. I mean, if you look at all of the Fontaine decks, there are some really, really cool ones out there, particularly the one that I use in the thumbnail, the guest sticker edition. That's a really clever deck, and I really, really enjoy the design. Okay, category number two, handling and paper stock. <laughs> Classic Fontaines are printed on fairly thin paper stock. They feel a lot like standard bicycles, so you definitely cannot go wrong. They're definitely easy to spring right out of the box. They last you for quite some time if you take care of them, and they look good in simple flourishes, as you can see here. I think the thinness of the stock makes the cards feel good, but the fact that they're printed at USPCC quality really makes them last a while. Now this is one of the best handling decks I've ever used. For some reason, the cards are extremely smooth. They're very soft, making things like springs and dribbles very easy and very nice. The paper stock of the deck is extremely thin, making me think it's some kind of crushed bicycle stock, but it has like this, this really smooth finish, which also allows for smoother cuts and the edges of the deck are not rough. In general, um, I could handle this deck all day and I would not be disappointed. Now, if we're just looking at these two decks, I have to give it to anyone worldwide in terms of handling. The smooth edges are amazing. The paper stock, I don't know what it is about this deck, but it feels so good. So if you don't have one, well, it's gonna be hard to get because that's gonna bring us to category number three, pricing and availability. All right, now it's pretty much a tie between pricing and availability. Both decks and both companies tend to sell out their decks within seconds of dropping. So really, if you look at the eBay pricing, I mean, it's kind of a wash, pretty much a tie all around. 
However, Fontaine did recently do a dead stock sale where they basically sold all of the Fontaine cards ever <laughs> at really, really reasonable, reasonable, right? prices on their website and made them available to everybody, which I really appreciate because the biggest thing that I complain about with Fontaine is all these exclusive drops that unless you live in LA, you're never gonna get. I don't know about you guys, I can't afford to go to LA every couple of months to pick up a deck of cards. And even if I could, they're expensive, they're super expensive, but Fontaine has in the past done a lot to make their decks more available to people and I really do appreciate that. So uh, I'm gonna say it's a tie between the two but kind of leaning more towards Fontaine at least until anyone worldwide does a dead stock sale which, uh, you know, if they do, let me know. Let me know right away. <laughs> All right, but you know what? Because it seems like it's a tie, we're gonna do a bonus round. The bonus category is gonna be best collab. I'm gonna be taking a look at two collaborations from anyone worldwide, and then I'm gonna be taking a look at two collaborations from Fontaine. Anyone worldwide, we're gonna be looking at the Dan and Dave Smoke and Mirrors collab, and the As Is collab. And then for Fontaine, we're gonna be taking a look at the Guess collab, and the Carrots collab. I'm gonna keep it really quick, but basically, I think in order to break the tie truly, we're gonna to have to go there, so let's go there. I think one of the most impressive collabs that we've seen from any card company was the Anyone Worldwide release of the Smoke and Mirrors cards by Dan and Dave. This is a classic that was ultimately reborn with Anyone Worldwide that's very simple yet elegant. Perfect size borders in my opinion, a nice black and white contrast that makes the deck very crisp. However, the design did fall short in things like the Jokers and the Ace of Spades as it didn't pay any homage to the original Smoke and Mirrors designs, which I think is a huge opportunity and ultimately a little bit of a letdown. However, there is some interesting customization on the courts, which is a redeeming quality, and as well, it's overall one of my favorite decks. The Anyone Worldwide Bomb deck is a collaboration with Anyone Worldwide and As Is. It has a really nice red and black back design. It really pops, it's a great color. I like that you get two sets of jokers. You get one that says, you're drunk and no free tastes. And then a cross branding set that matches the Anyone Worldwide and As Is collaboration with the bomb on it. However, I don't like the Ace of Spades on this deck. I think it is boring and there's a little bit of an opportunity, I think, to really dress it up. So Fontaine is known for their collaborations with clothing brands, and one of their most notable collaborations with any clothing brand was their collaboration with Guess. In this example, we're gonna be looking at the Guess sticker edition. However, there are two other versions of the deck that have been collaboration with Guess as well. Anytime Fontaine collaborates with a brand, usually you get more customization on the Ace of Spades and Jokers, and sometimes you even get customization on the faces of the cards themselves. I really like it, it allows Zach to be more creative, and as well, it just kind of gives you more for your money. The Fontaine Carrots also have three different editions. These cards are more custom, but still fairly standard, so they could still be used for things like Magic. But they do have custom Jokers, a very minimalistic Ace of Spades, and as well, the court cards are a single color matching whatever color of the deck. Overall, these cards look great, they handle great, and all three editions are definitely worth having. Despite the fact that the Smoke and Mirrors reprint collab with Dan and Dave is one of my favorite decks, another one of my favorite decks is the Fontaine Carrots, and honestly, the Fontaine Guest collabs are really sweet too, so I gotta give this one to Fontaine for their collaboration work with Guest and Carrots. I can feel it, I can feel the hate. I can feel the hate and the controversy and just the, the trolls and I can, I can just feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> well guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode and my comparison of the Fontaine versus the Anyone Worldwide playing cards. You know, honestly, I'd have to give this one to Fontaine, although I can appreciate that these are some of the best handling cards I've ever had. I've connected with Fontaine since like 2013. I've connected with Zach. Um, I just have a lot of respect for the brand. I've been using Fontaine's for a long time. It's, it's just more for me. But what I really wanna know is what's more for you? So let me know down in the comments. Of course, guys, please do drop a like on the video if you liked it, and I hope you'll consider subscribing for more awesome videos just like this one. Also, if you're interested in winning a giveaway, we're giving away a t-shirt and a Black Roses Casino deck, courtesy of Black Rose Playing Cards. I'll make sure that the video tile pops up at the end of this video. If you haven't entered, just go ahead and click on it, figure out how you can win. Best of luck to you. All that being said, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day. I know I will. <laughs> and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Peace. Let's go.
vote.